destinations and excursions and stuff that's just dramatic, if you will, um, and stuff that the average angler probably would never be able to do. Bolivia and just these back jungle stories of deep in the, in the woods and in the jungles and stuff. And so real adventure telling that goes on. We all get very excited and stoked, you know, before the season starts, before a big fishing trip, as you're packing your gear and you're organizing your gear and you're playing with your equipment, even before you go fishing. And that's what getting stoked is all about. It's a week long, you know, adventure that leads you into a day of fishing sometimes, you know, and that's what keeps us as anglers. That's what keeps you going through your work week, right? <laughs> Got to get to Friday or Saturday so I could go on that three day fishing trip. We love the outdoors and we love the environment, you know, and we love to get out and interact with some of these, these fish in these wild areas. She gets on that platform and she just fishes all day long. Big fish in exotic locales pursued by colorful characters. The Fly Fishing Film Festival has it all in spades. I am a widow. I am a mom. I'm a grandma. Oh, and I'm a fly fisher woman. Edit that one out. Scott Cook of Fly and Field Outfitters has been hosting the Fly Fishing Film Festival in Bend for 14 years. He says February is a great month to watch inspiring movies. It's pretty cold outside and, um, you know, great ex excuse to, you know, get warm and drink a beer and hang out with some buddies and it's become this kind of bro date, if you will, of these guys, you know, uh, and gals and families and everything that are kind of all get together. They go grab a burger or some dinner, they come down, they watch a great movie. It's really entertaining. They do a great job and some really talented filmmakers and some stuff that just is super entertaining. Giveaways and prizes, including a high-end Sage brand fly rod, add to the allure of the Fly Fishing Film Festival. The Tower Theater reports it sells more beer during the Fly Fishing Film Festival than most other events throughout the year combined. Yeah, boy. Mo. Oh. 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 He going right. Yes. That's a good eight. And it's not a quiet sit in the, in the movies and, and enjoy a quiet show. People are hooting and hollering and, you know, having a great time, drinking some beer. You know, somebody catches a big fish on screen and everybody's like, oh, yeah, you know. So it's a, it's a little different atmosphere than just your standard go watch a movie thing. Everybody gets pretty jacked up and enjoys the, the presentation for sure. Can't think of anything different right now. It's been quite the adventure. Discounted tickets are available at Fly and Field Outfitters on Century Drive and Bend and through the Fly Fishing Film Tour website. I'm Brooks Snavely for The Great Outdoors.